First meetings can always be tricky, especially when you are the new doctor in town. For Isoel Gomes Molina, this is a chance to say hello to local people in Viveiros, in Bahia. He explains he is from Cuba and is here to stay for a long time, unlike others who had come before him. For Dr. Isoel is one of the many foreign doctors brought to Brazil under the government's so-called Mais Médicos, or More Doctors program. The aim is to make up a huge gap in the health service, especially in poorer parts of the country. People here are quick to register for their first appointments. Poverty and violence had made it hard to convince doctors to stay in Viveiros, on the outskirts of the town of Feira de Santana. It's very important to have at least one doctor in each community. We can't solve all the problems, but we can make a difference in the long term, helping to improve rates like child mortality and life expectancy. People living in this poor community say they haven't had proper medical care for years. Now thousands of foreign doctors are being brought in to places like this across Brazil to change that. But not everybody thinks that's a good idea. Some leading doctors in Brazil are concerned that the newcomers haven't been properly certified to work in the country and argue the government had other options. We have enough doctors in Brazil. The reason why they are so badly distributed is the lack of hospitals, infrastructure, jobs and acceptable salaries in these regions. But the Brazilian government is campaigning to consolidate the program across the country. We know there will be resistance, but we are sticking with this. Nothing justifies not taking a doctor to these communities. Whatever the situation, he will make a difference and will help organize the health system in the area. Dr. Isoel is getting to know his new patients and their problems, such as early pregnancy. This mother is 14 years old. It used to be hard for us. We used to have to wait ages to see a doctor. Now things will be a lot better. I really like him. Of course, it will take some motherly love as well. But Ejivania says she's confident her baby's health is in good hands. Julia Carneiro, BBC News, Feira de Santana, Bahia.